Hey guys, it's Melanie Sobosinski, and today I'm bringing you the number one reason why your hormones and metabolism may be off. Now, this is something, because I work with a lot of women, people come to me and they're like, my reasoning behind it of thyroid issues or adrenal issues, or yeah, you are going through menopause, this number one reason could affect all of those things, okay? And it could lead us to this path of just being completely frustrated, trying all the things and not seeing any of the results. So are you ready? The number one reason why your hormones and your metabolism are at war with one another is because of yo-yo dieting. I know, I know, you wish it was something different. Tell me if this sounds familiar. Tell me if you've ever done this. Oh gosh, there's a new six week challenge. Let me hop on board with that and follow the strict diet with it and see some quick results. Or my reunion is in four weeks and I need to fit in my size three pants. Or I have so-and-so's wedding coming up and I need to fit into that dress I wore seven years ago. So we're doing this yo-yo dieting. We're constantly doing these quick things to get quick results that is messing with our hormone and our hormones and our metabolism complete frustration. So what's yo-yo dieting? Because I mean, you know, we're on a diet, off a diet, on a diet, off a diet, constantly chasing the next diet, trying to figure out why we're not losing weight. Um, and that's kind of what yo-yo dieting is. It's kind of making these quick short-term changes that bring on temporary changes in our bodies. And if you know me, I don't promote that. Wrong. Step away from it, okay? Step far away from that and stop that right now because here's what happens. Your hormones and metabolism work together as a team. Your hormones are functioning properly. Your metabolism is functioning properly. But what happens when we yo-yo diet is we're restricting. We're not giving our body what it needs. And it kind of messes with some hormones, some of the stress hormones, you know, cortisol. And when that hormone is out of whack, it tends to store fat in our bellies. And not only does it mess with that hormone, it messes with our hunger hormones. And then our metabolism is having this WTF moment, not knowing what in the world it's supposed to be doing. Should it be going fast? Should it be going slow? You know, should it be you know, hanging on to things that, you know, because we may be going into starvation mode because we're in calorie restriction and calorie deficit is not the be all end all answer for everybody, please stop. Don't tell someone that who is bulimic, who's barely holding in 500 calories a day, that calorie deficit is the way to go. Sweetheart, it's not. It messes up things, okay? So what, what does, I said, what does it do with the hormones and, and the stress hormones and all these things? Yes, can affect thyroid, can affect the adrenal glands, can affect the way you're going through menopause. So your body on this yo-yo dieting, which then slows the metabolism and jacks up the hormones. So it also puts you at risk for certain diseases like diabetes, um, worse thyroid issues than what you have because yo-yo dieting really messes up your thyroid. I wrote a blog on that, did a live on that. So please look into that. I'll actually put that in, in the comments because I did that. I did that. I have a thyroid issue. So it doesn't help. It also can lead to heart disease, obesity, all these kind of things. And there are three Horrible effects that yo-yo dieting has on not only your metabolism and your hormones, but your body itself. And one of them is weight gain. Because we go on this vicious cycle. We chase that six-week diet. We've done all the things, but we've messed up ourselves. And we go on this weight gain then. That's your one bad, one of three that I'm going to give you bad side effects of yo-yo dieting, weight gaining. And I'm going to actually skip over the second one I have on the list and go right to the third, which then is the mind games. Because we go on these diets and we're chasing the result of a smaller body or a smaller size or whatever it is, which is totally wrong, okay? And it, it, it messes with you psychologically, it messes with the way we feel about our bodies, all these things. And number three, the other side effect, is gut health issues. Look, I'm writing a blog on this, so if you wanna know more about that, you know I can talk about that all day. But yes, your gut then has WTF moments, like it, it doesn't know, do I hang on to these hormones? What, like what do I do? It has no idea what it's doing when you're messing with it so often. And when that bacteria is off, the good bacteria and the bad bacteria are off, Weight gain. Weight gain. 
So three negative side effects of this yo-yo diet. How do you avoid the yo-yo dieting? How do you avoid, um, you know, messing with your hormones and making them worse than maybe what they could be or, you know, slowing your metabolism and jacking that up? How do you avoid it? You have to find the right balance. And what works for you doesn't work for someone else. And what works for someone else isn't going to work for you. And when you've tried it all, you haven't, okay? You haven't tried it all. It's finding that right balance. And I work on this in my Balance 360 program because, yes, we touch on the mindset. We touch on the gut health. We touch on why you keep gaining weight and what system. Not everybody else's. So understanding that it's not a size or a number on a scale is also also a way to avoid the yo-yo dieting and not falling for the quick fix of the hey these are the before and after pictures but do you know that maybe she's in complete adrenal fatigue because she's not only starved herself restricted calories worked out plus 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 many 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 hours but those before and after pictures look great but we've jacked up our hormone and we hormones and we have messed up our metabolism that can sometimes be the case right diet mentality we have to stop the strict calorie restriction these quick fixes of losing you know 50 pounds in 25 minutes because that is not healthy for us all around from the inside out from the mind from the body from the health aspect all those kind of things and giving your body what it needs which is different for everybody it's going to do what it's supposed to it's going to balance some things out it's going to have your metabolism working the way it's supposed to be working so that is my number one thing right there is the yo-yo dieting and it needs to stop it really does i haven't i can't tell you how many people, your body's confused it doesn't know what it's supposed to be doing it doesn't know if it's supposed to be hanging on to fat because you're starving it it doesn't know if it's supposed to be secreting a certain hormone because it's having wtf moments so the yo-yo dieting staying away from it will help your body from having to stop having the WTF moments and will help in, in turn have the metabolism and the hormones working like they're supposed to. I hope that has helped you today. If you are looking for more information on that, please contact me. I have tons of blogs out there, so go and look at my blogs at my website, um, www.melaniesobo.com. Go look at them because, I mean, I could put them all in, in the notes or in the, in the uh, comments and, and you'd be finding information all day. So it's, it's all a matter of being open-minded to understanding what it is that your body needs and understanding that it's not another diet. It's not a yo-yo diet. It's not a quick fix. And it may not even be what Jenny is doing, right? She may be seeing great results, but it's not, it, it may not work for you. You can put two people on the same exact diet and someone succeed. Nope. We're just not doing the right thing for our bodies and we have possibly done that number one no-no to messing up the metabolism and hormones. So that's all I have for you guys today. If you found value in this, please feel free to share it. Thank you always for hopping on and listening. You guys have a great day, and we will chat later.